So this video was actually supposed to be intended to be a part of my October ending budget, but that video ended up being too long. It's 20 minutes. It's up. If you, I'm pretty sure you guys are coming because of that video. Um, but that was 20 minutes long. Plus I had a whole bunch of other stuff included that I just like had a cut, cut, cut. And this was one of the cuts. I did put a preview in there and maybe that's why you're here. Um, just to see like the more overall details of the program that I did end up doing um, I put a sneak peek I knew going into that that you know what the audience or the people that are clicking to see my ending budget don't really want to hear about this and if they do well this is a video that I can lead them to um, as I was editing the video I found that I had a lot of questions and the reason why I myself had a lot of questions was because that this footage that I have was supposed to be a part of the other one so it was only supposed to be very vague very like you know here and there but not fully detailed about the program and I just have like so many questions that if I was a, a new person to the Matthew retreat I would be having so I ended up doing this um, video right here this intro where I can explain the questions that I came up with maybe you guys have more questions and you guys can leave them down below the reason why I haven't done any video is because you know what this is I'm post retreat right now and I've had a huge mindset change like a huge just life change not like an aha moment, but just like something inside of me just switched and I cannot, that person that I was, it was, it was just different. I don't know. I can actually go back into that mindset and do react how she did. So I want you to see me before and I want you to see me after. I'm definitely going to do a post video and I will do many, many videos. I think that was a hint of how life changing this retreat was for me. And I will explain in those videos how it changed me. It's it's different. Even I never thought it could change me the way it did. But um, this video is just to you see like a glimmer of my mindset that I had before. Not only that, but just to see what I thought I was going to get into. Maybe I, you know, some things did end up coming true. Some things didn't. So I want you to see that. And I want you to see my raw self. Um, just a few things that I want to get into because um, I don't want to make this video longer. But uh, I did not really explain why I ended up choosing Matthew. The reason why, the main reason was financial reasons. Tony Robbins, while well, I love him and he has so much experience and I would say I've gone to one of his like events. He's worth, worth every penny, but I just didn't have that penny for him. <laughs> I needed something cheaper. So that's why I went with Matthew. And then the thing that pushed me was my like love life, which I, it was non-existent and I didn't know how to like, like, you know, fix it. I found Matthew on YouTube and he used to be like, text this instead of that. And this is logically, this is what you need to do. And I was like, wow, he kind of sounds like, um, you know, Tony Robbins, but in a dating sort of way. So that's how I was like, okay, first of all, he's cheaper than Tony. And he was what I kind of wanted the change in, in my dating life. This is the timeline. I said yes to the phone call. I was like, yes, I'm going to do it. In April, by October, I was like, oh, what the hell did I get myself into? It's almost November and I'm here and I need to get, like, I already asked for, like, a week off work and everything. I had everything planned already, but it just started hitting me. Like, all the money I'm going to lose, my, my debt goal is, like, going out the window, yada, yada, yada. So I was kind of stressing it. And then in November was the treat. I don't think I you can really tell in that video. So when I first said yes, I was excited. I was like, yes. This is going to be a life changing thing. In October, I was like, no, this is money that I'm throwing down the toilet, but I have to do it. So that was my whole timeline. And in the video, you'll see a little bit more how Tony Robbins and Matthew kind of like it came together for me. And not only that, but you'll also see like the breakdown of some of like my budget. If you want to see like a real number breakdown, see my October budget 
ending report that'll really show you but my it'll go into a little bit more detail within this video that's coming up and then you'll see my reactions and it's it's just different Hey everyone, so long time no see, don't worry, I still have my webcam, um, I did not invest in a camera, <laughs> I'm hoping to get it back sooner rather than later, my good camera, well my brother's good camera, but enough of that. Okay, so I want to talk to you one on one, <laughs> this video might be long, I as trust me I wanted to go really fast, but at the same time, these are why I ended up doing this 170 on a flight on return to. So I live in Los Angeles. I was about to say LAX, but I that's my airport, but I do live in Los Angeles and I'm going to Florida. It's a Matthew Hussey like life retreat type of thing. I I don't know if you guys know him, but if you don't and you are dating or need like man advice or even if you're married, I think he will give you like some life advice. I was going through a thing and I was just like, F this, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> so I started looking for help. Matthew Hussey was there. I had been following him for about a year before I ended up going through the retreat. I love those type of, I wouldn't call them self-help gurus just because I think Tony Robbins is like my main guy. He's more of a life coach. He doesn't consider himself a guru he doesn't like that word well he doesn't like like inspirational person or whatever that's called he's more like practical usable tools to change your life for the better or however your better is just to improve yourself not to go down a road that you don't think it's healthy and I've changed so much and I saw Matthew and he's very logical like Tony Robbins when I found out about Matthew it wasn't just like oh do this do that or you know he kind of explains why you're gonna do certain things and why you shouldn't do other certain things and I love that because I am a very logical thinker when someone tells me you should do this I'm like well okay wait a minute I don't understand why you're telling me this. Can you please explain? With men, <laughs> the opposite sex, I'm very kind of clueless. It was different. And I needed that help. And I, when I found Matthew, I was like, wow, okay. He kind of reminds me of Tony, but in like a relationship realm. And then I found out that he actually loves Tony Robbins and has gone to many of his seminars. Well, only one, okay. But I'm thinking he's gone to many of his seminars and that he's gone through some programs because everything that he has is kind of mirroring the Tony Robbins program. I'm not saying he's ripping it off. I didn't say that. No, like I didn't say it. It's just a different approach and every, like whenever you're taught something I come from the mindset you should um, learn as much as you can get different sources get different opinions get different views so you can better build that thought in your head and he kind of comes from like the Tony Robbins route but it's just different I at the time I was like it's so worth it I wasn't getting out of debt I'm like I have money in the bank I could so totally do this and I have what six months to get the rest of the money I need I okay truth be told if I wasn't paying off debt I would have been able to pay for it but at the same time I wouldn't have because that's keeping myself in debt so I had said yes and I was okay let me just go through with it it's not gonna I'm not you know it's just something that I have to suck up and do it so I'm not saying that it's wrong I don't think in this point in my life yes I am young that and this will help me I will like milk it for it to help me at least learning a life lesson that I should never 
pay for something that I can afford, at least learning that lesson. But I am sure that I will learn many other things in my journey. The debt that I do currently have, the 40000 that I did start off with, included the price of the retreat. It did not include food and it did not include my plane ticket. I bought my plane ticket October, my going and coming back round trip for $170. And I am planning to cook, well not cook, but like eat certain things, be very mindful. I have been budgeting for this for three months already and I feel that I have enough to go ahead and I mean I already bought my plane ticket and whatever I have left for November is what I'm gonna go ahead and eat with and that's it I'm not gonna go over but I this is a long explanation this is just something that I had to go and do I'm not gonna do little things like this until I am ready financially to pay it in full the time that I buy it so if you have any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe if you want to come through this journey with me, what I've learned. And I hope that anything you get from me, I mean, I hope it helps everyone else. Like even if they can't go to the retreat, I'm just, you know, from my experience, maybe someone will learn something. So please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I don't know. I should go into like a whole video. Um, a whole video if I hadn't, <laughs> if I haven't already, <laughs> uh, 